Pros. Post. tropical and subtropical regions. Earlier harvesting of grain sorghum when its moisture content is high above 16 percentage helps reduce shutter losses. Most of the losses occurred at the beginning of the harvest season and were caused by stormy weather, particularly high winds. According to the research entitled Post-Harvest Loss Assessment in Kaupi, maize and sorghum selected supply chains in Burkina Faso and recommended solution and strategies, the label of quantitative losses for sorghum, 5.4% at harvesting, 0.47% during threshing or winnowing, 0.3% during transportation, and 0.02% during farm storage. Post-harvest handling, such as rice and maize, sorghum also requires the right post-harvest management to prevent loss result because of scattered, eaten by birds, as well as post-harvest phase and diseases. Post-harvest handling is one of the important linkages that needs attention in the farming of sorghum. The custom of drying sorghum grain is by letting the crop in field, which will have an impact on increasing the risk of yield losses due to pests, especially birds. The use of paddy or maize drying machine is to dry sorghum needs modifications adjusted to the form panicle morphology and seeds of sorghum. Other than that, the secure storage system is also very necessary to protect the seeds from damage caused by insects, fungi, rodents, and others. Food security is a necessary foundation for economic and social stability and sustainable development and has been the focus of current work by several international organizations and national governments. Therefore, it is very important to reduce post-harvest grain loss to ensure a sufficient supply of grains and to make utilization of the agricultural production resources sustainable. Late harvesting can lead to spontaneous shading of the grain from the panicles, resulting in significant losses and grain deterioration due to rapid changes in temperature and humidity. Grain with up to 25% moisture content can be harvested but requires a careful drying before storage. Thresh early to reduce field exposure to birds, rats, etc. Ensure that the moisture content is low enough. Maximum moisture content of the grain before storage should be 10 to 12 percentage. The moisture level of sorghum must be reduced to self before storage. The reason is to prevent mold growth and thus the possibility of mycotoxin development by a range of storage fungi, especially aspergillus flavus, which can, under appropriate storage and field condition, produce carcinogenic aplatoxin. Storage or storing losses causes adverse climatic conditions, contamination by extraneous material, grain germination, and pest infestation.
I am Salahuddin K. Dalandas. I'm Maida T. Muhammad. Hello everyone, I am Mujahid S. Ibrahim. We are here to report about, about harvest losses in soybeans. soybeans. What is soybeans? Soybeans or soya beans, and also known as glycine max, its scientific name, is a legume crop belonging to the family Leguminosae or Fabaceae. In the Philippines, it is known as Ota, while in the other Asian countries, it is called as Wonder Bean because soybeans is a rich source of protein, calcium, phosphorus, and iron. Also, it is a good source of isoflavones which has positive effect in our body. However, soybeans became a controversial product in the U.S. because several studies claim that soy isoflavones can cause diseases such as breast cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and other thyroid problems. But this was rejected by the experts due to lack of evidences because the isoflavones has positive effect that can help preventing the risk of having cancer cells. So now that we've introduced you what is soybeans, let's now proceed to the post-harvest losses. Post-harvest losses is one of the common problems in the agriculture industry. It includes the food loss across the food supply chain from harvesting of the crop until its consumption. This problem occurs every time and can be prevented, but prevention doesn't secure the products from losses. However, it decreases the chance of post-harvest loss. So there are three factors that best describe the post-harvest losses, which is the qualitative loss, quantity loss, and food waste. Basically, qualitative loss is lost in quality, and quantitative loss is lost in quantity, while food waste is wastage of food or products that has been unutilized by the consumers. Losses in harvesting occurs due to poor production practices and climate conditions. So sa pag-harvest pa lang, dito nakikita kung gaano kaganda yung quality ng seed na itinanim at saka kung gaano ka-active yung farmers sa during planting time. Because remember that hard works are always rewarded. Kung baka kung ano yung tinanim mo, ganun din kadami yung aanihin mo. Ito yung iture ng healthy soybean field at saka ito yung kapag ready na siya i-harvest. Losses in trashing results into grain breakage and spillage. Delaying the threshing process after harvesting results to poor quality and quantity of beans. Losses in drying occurs when they practice open sun drying and the crops are more likely prone to bird attacks and also rain conditions can affect the quality of the crops. Losses in transportation happens when there is breakage of grains and leakage of the beans. Losses in storage, these happen when there is an improper way of storing the products. The products are prone to insects, pests, or molds. So in order to prevent this, cleanliness must be obtained by the farmers. Losses in packaging result in the weight loss if the sack isn't properly checked and prone to insects and pests if the materials used are not secured. So kung may butas yung sako na pinaglagyan ng beans, may possibility talaga na magkaroon ng leakage during transportation. And lastly is the consumption. If the product are failed to utilize by the consumers, the product may lead to food wastage. The number one producer of soybeans are the U.S. Next is Brazil. Areas with productive rice or corn crop are usually suitable to soybean production, which is why Philippines has lots of farms that practice soybeans farming. In the Philippines, soybean farms are found in Surigao del Sur, Agusan del Sur, Davao del Norte, and Northern Mindanao. Thanks for today. Thank you.